Yeah. And drive a car. Yeah, but uh, if you live in California, you are eligible to get a driver license. That means uh, you are allowed by the law to drive a car. Yeah. But in other states, that won't be permissible. You know, in other states, you, may have, you must be uh, at least uh, 18 years old. At least 18? Yeah. Uh, Oh. Ông ở Mỹ về mà ông ở Mỹ về mà ông sao bảy tuổi rồi? Ừ. Ông nói tiếp ông đi, ông nói tiếp đi. Ở đây về đây là đẹp ra thèm cái tiếng nhiều ở Mỹ là 16 tuổi rồi. Ờ bởi bằng bằng lái xe xong rồi cái lái xe in what which state? Oh, the state where they live in Texas. What? Texas. Texas. Yeah. Texas. You know, some, some, some say Texas, some say Texas, some say Texas. It depends on the man. I don't know what to say. 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 Chào ông. Chào ông. How, how are you today? I'm fine. Con ngồi đây nè. No. Yeah. 11 only. Yeah. Mà bốn tuổi à? Yeah. Ôi. Very tall. Very tall. Không. Mấy đứa nhỏ trong này nó lớn nhờ yeah. cái độ dinh dưỡng. Dinh dưỡng. Nhờ đấy. Nhìn cao to. Nhìn. That's good. Nhưng mà for your future. Nữa. Yeah. yeah, you may. Uh, I think you may grow up and be a, a, a beauty queen. <laughs> a lot of people say that. Yeah, no, yeah, a lot of people say that, but you have all that uh, required to do it and yeah. uh, to be it. So don't worry about that. Bà nói chuyện cũng thoải mái. Bà nói chuyện bệnh. Bà nói chuyện là nói tiếng Anh. <cười> mà bà nói với anh là để 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 để, để đi đưa thoải mái rồi đi đưa đi đưa anh mà bác chỉ bác chỉ là mỗi năm nó đi học sao sao nó là gì yeah. what about your grade your school grade is my school grade is grade 6 sorry six. I have a hearing loss grade 6 6 6 yeah nó tao tao nên ông có bị 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 nặng tai Chứ anh nó gọi là cái bệnh đó thì nó chứ 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 là nó gọi là hearing impairment nhưng mà mình nói chuyện người ta cái cái từ đó là cái từ gọi là bác sĩ nói còn mình nói hôm nay thì mình nói I have a hearing loss hearing loss còn nói hôm nay nữa đó thì anh chết tôi biết còn nói là hearing loss là cũng bị hơi bị lãng tai Tức là mình, mình muốn mô tả cái tình trạng như thế nào thì anh thua cái người đối về mình muốn cho nói cha hiểu như thế nào thôi Ok Ở oh, what about your classes? My classes? Yeah How, how many degree of uh, short sign do you have? I think more than six What? More than six Really? Nhận dữ không? Cẩn nhận dữ gì? In the future, after when you are about uh, you are an adult, yeah. at 21 years old or older, you may get some eye operation, eye surgery. You know, you, now you have LASIK, you have all kind of procedure to help you recover your vision, so don't worry about it. But it must be 18 years old. Older. What? Older than 18 years old. Mm, it depends on each person because one day accept that you are an adult, you will not grow up anymore. You are stabilized. 
then the, you can get the operation. Okay? Uh, but uh, it is becoming less and less expensive. It is very affordable. Maybe when you get that in six or seven years, like, it will be about five hundred dollars. You know, not much. So don't worry about that. Right now, maybe uh, depending on your situation, it might be uh, twelve hundred or one thousand. But it is becoming more and more affordable. So in six years, may only cost only five hundred, no more. Okay. And when you get that operation late, you will have to wear glasses any longer. You will shut them completely. So don't worry. Okay. You can. They say that um, the beauty queen should not wear glasses, and then you wouldn't wear glasses. Okay. Well, what about the future? What are your plans for your future? What do you want to become? I mean, apart from being a beauty queen, you know, on a professional basis, what do you want to become? When I was young, I want to be a doctor. You're still young, you know? No, like, younger, <laughs> yeah. I want to be a doctor, like my mom. But then when I was little, I want to be an engineer or architect, like my father. But when I'm not, I want to be a singer. You have singer. to be? What? Singer. Singer? Yeah. Wow. Well, each one has its own vocation. They call it a calling. Okay? A calling. What? To be a doctor, to be an engineer or a singer, you all contribute to the goodness of the community you live in. So don't worry about it. But uh, 50 years ago, singers were not very well seen by others, you know, but because they said that it was not, it was a very mean profession. It was not even not a profession. It was some kind of low life activity. But right now, that label is no more applicable to singer. So you be a singer, but if you want to be a singer, be a good singer, yeah. you know, of uh, international fame, you know. For example, be otherwise be like Taylor Swift or something like that. But singer, what kind of music? Pop rock? Uh, Classical? Like pop, pop or like, uh, like what? smooth music? Uh, uh, no, but you can be a country, country pop. Country pop. I country. It's good, but like, I'm not really into it. No, but uh, you know, if you really want to become a singer, well, keep on. Keep on pursuing it. This is good calling. This is a good profession as they need. Okay? Cô bé thì cô hay có hiểu được. Anh nói tiếng Anh thì cô giọng của anh thì nó hơi ấy lúc mà cô hiểu được là tốt lắm. Yeah. Good one. Good one more thing. Speak loudly. Loud. Very loudly. Nói đi. Anh đi nói con. I will tell you something. With my grandchildren, I always give them the liberty to ask me about anything in the house. I will provide them with the English. First of all, you have to be proficient in everything in the house first. Because they are close to you. They, you use them in your daily life, in your daily activities. So you have to be to know what they mean, to know their name in English, in Vietnamese and in some, in some other language of your choice. Okay? What is it? I don't know. You open your phone, you say widget. They will say widget. This is a widget. 
Not the gadget, but widget. On the phone, there is some guy at the widget over there. Yeah. So remember, link to this one to your, the one on your phone, and you will remember it more easily in the future. Okay? bạn nó giới thiệu con phải giới thiệu cho bạn để cháu giới thiệu bạn con với anh bạn con với anh <cười> giới thiệu anh con ở đâu con từ từ đâu danh danh con ở đâu bạn trai ai gì bác tuổi nó tuy này bác father was born in Bangladesh in Thailand where is Bangladesh Bangladesh Nantong Nantong what is Nantong I don't know I'm just from it's a hometown Well, but what is it? Mr. What is it? It is a province. It is a province of Central Vietnam. Okay? Central. Well, actually, where is it though? You would say it is not of Maria. It is not of something. Okay? That is, you have people, other people define where you live. You have, you have all the people know the position of your problems of your NATO problem how do you call it NATO yeah NATO what is it NATO what is the NATO province what is it that is the province where your father or your mother was born okay and you What is your NATO province? Uh, in Here. Yeah. 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 Ho, Ho Chi Minh City. Ho Chi Minh City. No, but uh, they are good English. If they can understand what I'm saying, well, they have, at least have an intermediate <laughs> level. Hai cháu đã từng đến Mỹ rồi. We have come to America. What? We have been come to. You have been to America? Yes. Well. Nhưng mà chỉ đến chơi thôi. Uh, you have been to uh, New York. A tour. You have been a tour, yeah. you know. Yes. Yeah. Is that right? A And tour. what is? It? How long was that tour? Maybe five days, maybe ten days. What? Maybe ten days or maybe two weeks. Ten days. And what? Where have you been? Where? California. I've been to California. I've been to New York. It, yeah. Yeah. And I've been to uh, Washington, D.C. So you mean they call it New York and Washington D.C. They call it East Coast. East Coast. Yeah. The yes. whole block, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, you go to East Coast, Boston, for example. Oh. Okay? So, you have been to the East, and you have been to the West, in California. Yes. When, were, when you were in California, did you go to some uh, local attraction, tourist attraction? Like uh, the uh, Hollywood, uh, you yeah. know? Yeah. Okay. Las Vegas. Las Vegas? Have you played any? Yeah. No, no, we're not no. allowed to play. You should have. Try some. For example, for roulette, the one man bandit, or. No, no game? So is there no game? Oh, no, they do not allow my yeah. minor to play games over there. Yeah. You must have be at least 18. Yeah. 16, you can do a three count. <laughs> 16, you have to make play at roulette. So. Yeah. And uh, have you seen any relative over there? Does your parents have relatives? Uncle, aunt, son? No, he has like almost call it friends. Friends? Huh? Friends. friends. So did you learn French? France? Did, yeah. France. Did you learn French? No. <gasps> no. no. No? You should. French is also a very good language to learn, but it's rather difficult. You have to learn from your childhood. Yeah. I studied French when I was a kid. I went to a French college. Yeah. When you I was Paris? young, I really liked you went France. To Paris, right? What? You went to Paris. 
No, no, I was just went to a French college here. A French college? Yeah. Yeah. Because? I studied French, I, uh, I studied English only at school. Yeah. But when, after I graduated, well, I learned English to, go, to become a computer programmer. Ooh, a computer yeah. programmer. I was a computer programmer for the USA program in Vietnam in 1970. Wow. A long, long time ago. I don't want yeah. to. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it, but uh, it is something of, of my past that uh, I would like to forget. Yeah. Uh, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, but apart, in addition to English language, what language have you chosen? Japanese, Korean, English, English, no, but other other than English, because I, after the ninth grade you can choose another an additional language to learn, yeah. a second language, like they say. Yeah. What did you uh, choose? Russian. No. no. <laughs> when no. I was at my school, like they already did Japanese, but that not like my. Oh. Second language that I choose, I didn't choose that language, but like the school teach us, so we still have to study Japanese, but just a little. But my chosen language is the second language is Korean. In Korean. Korean. Yeah. Korean. Yeah, this is a very good and popular language. I said that was I, I told you Korean, Japanese, Chinese. Chinese is number Chinese. one here. Yeah. Because after that, you then work. There were a lot of Chinese companies would come to do business in Vietnam. Yeah. If you can master the Chinese language, it would be an additional asset to you when or to get any job. You know, you go to your Chinese company, you apply for a job. They would, if you can prove that you can speak Chinese, that's a very, very valuable asset. Yeah, I was like really like France, and then I would, I didn't know how to say anything. I just say like, not the word. I say like, not even no, English. But, you know, you should study French after the ninth grade, at least the tenth grade, or any hour, because it will affect your English. The difference between English was the French.